We celebrate love on Valentine's Day, and usually we focus on romantic love, the kind with hearts and flowers. Uh, but there are other kinds of love, and tonight Charlie brings us a love story between a photographer and an island. In the past few weeks, we've twice ventured beyond the paved roads of Assateague with one of that island's most frequent winter visitors, Mr. Alan Sklar. Well, I do not come here in the summertime. So from uh, June, July, and August, I do not come here at all. That's when things on Caroline Street in OC are hopping. Yeah, I have a business in Ocean City. I work at four months a year. And I rent bicycles to tourists to ride the boardwalk. The rest of the time, he rides his barrier island with his camera. I always have my camera with me, but I'm not a gearhead. I just need it to do what I need it to do. And what he needs it to do is to capture the beauty of this pristine barrier island. So the camera can, is good for birds in flight, and it's good for my owl research, and it's good for ducks. I mean, I use it for everything. Alan helps locate and tag the snowy owls for Project Snowstorm that tracks their movements. It's been a good year for snowy owls. In past years, you might not have any owls come down from Canada. This year, we, we've had a lot of birds. Now, the secret to getting shots like this, he says, is not to worry the bird. I put myself in a position where I'm close to the bird, and then I don't look at the bird. I just looked at the ground, and I don't point the camera at the bird. I wait until that bird is ready to flush, and he's going to fly on his own, and then I get the picture. Alan's walked just about every walkable acre of this place, and he's documented and photographed what is left of its little-known history. This was actually the road to the village, okay? This, in theory, where we're walking now, at one point was a road to the Astig village. Much of what he's gathered has now disappeared, but ever a practical fellow, Alan has a website called acetiguephotos.com where his excellent photography and histories of this island can be found. And the whole thing is a love story of sorts. When I got my first uh, four-wheel drive vehicle in uh, 1995, I started coming down here fishing and I fell in love with the place. Hitching a ride is Charles Paparella for WBOC News. Travels with Charlie is brought to you by our friends at Gateway Subaru, higher standard.